Hi, welcome Geminis to your horoscope for October 2020. Uh, first of all, I'll go with the astrology. Um, you've, we've got Pluto moving direct, um, which is going to happen on the 4th of the month, which is still in Capricorn, but it is moving forward, which is a good thing. Um, and then we've got uh, Mercury is going to be in retrograde, and that's actually retrograde in your um, sixth house. So that when Mercury's in retrograde, we always say try to avoid signing any new documents or contracts, or go if you must sign over it, make sure everything is correct. Um, they don't get like any anything out of place. Uh, being in the sixth house too, I do feel like that you're gonna if any if you I just feel like for any health issues, we'll what to see what the cards say, but I'm just getting um, for any like health issues that you may have if you're waiting on any results that there's there's waiting on results or communication with that. Um, and I feel like that it's just something about like by, by chance. It's just well, I also feel like it's about talking. Like you might have to um, negotiate on like medication or, or getting better. It's something about I'm um, getting something that too. So I will wait for the cards to go in deeper with that. On the third of the um, month, we do have Mercury going into your fourth house. Or um, actually, in this on the third. Let me just get my dates correct. Yep, the third of the month will be in your, um, feel like it's going to be in your third house. Sorry, I just write my notes up and I've just got everything a bit, um, yes. Third house, so that's with siblings. So I do feel like that could be about, um, or even neighbours as well, being more harmonious with neighbours and with your siblings, going, going out and about, um, getting along with them a bit more as well. We've got... Also, Mars is still in retrograde, and that's in your 11th house. Um, so, you know, that's going to be uh, either a good thing, being more social, being more stronger with friends, or also could be more arguments coming up this month with friends and frustrations as well. When I then look at um, the cards and see what they say for you, uh, Geminis, I just look, you are a sign that you are a natural networker, so you are a sign that likes to be social, you like to talk and um, like have have fun and I'm hearing there's more chatter this month so I don't know if you're going to be more talkative or um, more chatter I just feel like there's more talk 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 with you um, to, like communication coming up for for this month um, look I also feel like it's going to be a, a month of grounding it's a month of um, I am feeling tired so I feel like you might be feeling like drained or, or, or tired um, I usually do health last, but I will do health now because I am feeling quite tired with you guys. Um, seven, three, four, five, six here. Look, I just feel like you might get lack of sleep for this month. Maybe you can't get um, everything all right, but I also feel like you need, like, an, need to stay I feel like there's maybe trouble sleeping at night because like, I need to be alert what's going on um, with you as, as, as well. Uh, I also feel like there's a bit of um, drippings, like you can handle this, but I just feel like you need to, you need to rest this month um, as well. And I just feel like, as I said before, it, it's about uh, about grounding. Um, I also feel like maybe you're overworked this month uh, be at work. And it's like you're also at work, I feel like you might need to stand your ground as well. And it's about... Um, you do a good job at work and it's like you're wanting to do a better job than what you have been done before but I do feel like there's some turbulence happening at work where you are going to have to stand your ground and you could be tired of the situation that's that's coming ahead for you as well because you have a, a big passion for what you do and a big drive and you want to do the best you can but you just can't let this thing go whatever it is about work you can't let it go for those who are looking for work, I do feel like it's a good opportunity to start looking and finding a job. Uh, I feel like a job offer could come in, and it could come in around the beginning of the month, around the 5th of the month, where the potential job offer could be coming in, um, which will be more, uh, I feel like the job offer is going to be more stability for you as well. That's going to be coming in for you. Uh, when we look at, um, I'm drawn to friends, have a look at the friends. Look, I feel like there's a lot of protection there with you around friends um, and, and social, but I feel like a friend there, they're saying they're for you and they're there for your well-being and they're, you know, just giving you a heads up. Like, I feel like you're being tired. I feel like I'm tired. I really do. So I feel like this is going to be a month where maybe you need to look at, like, vitamins or what you – I just feel very tired. But I do feel like there's a friend that's going to be, like, 
um, emotionally there for you for your well-being and, and be like, you know, hey, how are you going? I just feel like, you know, you, you've been tired. I think, I don't know, it's like, but it's just tired is what I'm getting. If this relates to anyone out there, can you please, maybe if you can just let me know what it's about or if you can put a comment, please do so, just so I know what they're going on um, or, or that I'm on the right track. Uh, then we've got, let's have a look at the relationship here. Oh, you're being very stubborn. For some of you, you're being very stubborn in a relationship. I just feel like um, it's just very stubborn. That is what's what's going on. Um, you're doing. You're not usually a stubborn sign as such. You're more of a social butterfly, um, networking sign. But I just feel like you're being very stubborn this month. And then again with relationships, it's like um, a power struggle that's going on. Like you want it to be your way or the highway. If, uh, but I do feel like you might need to be more flexible, reconsider about whatever it is that's going on. I feel like you're um, getting dressed up for something as well. Um, I just feel like taking like a very a good like a, taking care of your appearance um, and and staying within your personal power as well and standing your ground. Um, it's all, but I will say for some of you who where this is becoming too much of a power struggle, I do feel like it could be time that you need to let go of this relationship um, and maybe move on to something else, or if you can settle it. Try and do so this month because it is really getting to you with whatever it is going that's going on. Um, for single people, I do feel like it's a bit of an emotional roller coaster for you. It's like it's been a bit of emotional. I just feel like it's it's going to be a bit of an emotional roller coaster. I feel like it may not be the right time yet to to find someone um, to find someone new just yet. What's coming in? Let me look at family. Um, when we look at family, I do feel like it's an okay month for family. I do feel like it's a big change. I feel like there could be a news of a um, of either birth or like someone give, having a baby or someone being pregnant. Um, I feel like this could be a sibling or yourself. Like I say, I am feeling like I am. Um, I, know, I just feel like there's news of pregnancy. Either someone's giving birth or there's news of a birth. Or, and I feel like it's around the family. I feel like more so around the siblings. So I feel like that could be a time of celebration and be happy and it's like a reward. So I feel like whoever's telling you, they're relieved about this as well. And we go to the ninth. Let's look, at, let's look at these two houses up here. Ten of. I feel like, you know, I feel like if, if money it's okay, but I do feel like, you know, it's, it's, you can have a little bit of a splurge this month. I feel like, you know, reward yourself, have fun. Um, it's like a child, like a, like a kid in the candy store. Like you're just wanting to have fun, have a few more extra. I feel like this is more on your self-appearance. It's also getting your hair done or makeup, um, you know, buying that new outfit. I just feel like that's going to be on what you want to do this month as well. Uh, anything. And I feel more spiritual with this card for you as well. So you're wanting to gain more knowledge and more understanding. Um, and it's more about the, the flow, the flow of things, the yin and yang. You, know, you, wanted, you, know, you might want to learn feng shui or you might want to um, learn like tai chi. I just feel like there's something about spiritual um, learning that's about going with the flow for this month as well. Okay there, Geminis, I will leave it there for you. Thank you for liking, thank you for sharing and thank you for your comments. Um, I will be doing a live at the beginning of October. I haven't set the date yet. It will be around nine a Saturday night at 9 p.m. Sydney, Australia time. I'm not too sure what time that is around the world. But if you just subscribe, you'll get um, notifications when that's going to be up. And I will be answering your um, your, your questions as well. For, and it'll be for free. So again, thank you for liking and sharing. Um, and I'll see you again for your horoscope uh, for next month in November.